the hound bits pop. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalists' inner circle to learn what they got in mind. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Thanks for the ride, Sam. The Hound Beats Bop. Meet with the loyalists in bar. Samuel the Boatman has smuggled you across the river from Goldridge Prison. He works for an underground movement opposed to the illegal reign of the Lord Regent and has brought you to meet the members of the organization. Members of the organization that will help me get my revenge. And hopefully, hopefully return uh, the rightful heir to the throne, Emily. Well, first to safety and then... Uh, Hopefully, back, back in the, back in the throne, back in the throne. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. I'm sure the Admiral is anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. Yeah, it wasn't easy getting out. Thanks for the ride. So it's starting at last. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parties. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. <coughs> we can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with him. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans. But we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us. We're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Hmm. So here we have Atramel Havelock, and we are supposed to meet Piero, who is an inventor who is available to craft and upgrade equipment. Piero spends most of his time in his workshop, and that's what we need the coin for. And as a side note, I absolutely hate how the Good game... To have you with us, how the game Nothing trolls me the others, but there's no with beer. For a man who's done his service for the, crown. the game trolls me with a beer here, and... 
There's a bottle here. It's empty. There's glass here that you can put here. There's even a functioning parts app. He made the weapons we left but for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. You can't feel it. Go see him when you can. You can't feel it. I want my beer, Admiral. I want my beer. So uh, let's just let's just roll play that I'm having a beer here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still want to work. He's well, he's not a diplomat, but he's a brilliant man. Thanks, Admiral. Thanks for the beer. Let's, um, for treatment and rehabilitation. let's talk to Piero. Quickly have a look here. Is there anything interesting in here? Apart from the view. Hello. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Okay. At least I need to pick up this one. I like the fact that there's, there's functioning machines here. That uh, this whale oil, which is used as a fuel, I can get uh, empty tanks from here and then I can have a new one. New one here filled. Uh, serves serves absolutely no other purpose, I guess, apart from this little piece here that we are doing. But uh, but it's uh, it's nice, very nice. Perfect. Now plug it in. Just get it near the receptacle. Magnetism will do the rest. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Nope. Center lens out of alignment. There. Better now? Not much. I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Yes, let's have a look. Here we can buy ourselves some um, some of the items, kind of the ones ones we can use to either take enemies down or put them to sleep or uh, or kill them, or uh, some tools to bypass certain stuff on the missions, and we have upgrades, uh, accuracy and range and stuff for the weapons. And um, I'll uh, upgrade the mask optics here to uh, to be able to zoom. And uh, I don't really need anything right now. I would really like to have um, would really like to have um, more sleep darts. I'm not sure if I can. Here's a bolt capacity one, but this this increases the capacity of standard bolts, and I don't really need that. Bone charms we'll find later. These are kind of uh, uh, different kinds of boosts to different abilities that you can change what you have active. And uh, with this upgrade, you can uh, change the number of how many bone charms you can have active. I won't take that now, but I might at some point. I will. Um, 
I will buy some sleep darts, but I will save the rest of the coin for later. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. No, I think I will look around for a while before I bet down. I like this. The game offers me the fast way onwards with the, with the plot and the game. But uh, I can free, free roam in this pub uh, if I want to. And that's what I'll do. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. I will, Piero. And we can find blueprints uh, on the missions, uh, in addition to scavenging the valuables for money. And with these blueprints, we'll, we can f get some new items and upgrades to uh, get from Piero. Reason for free roaming here is that I will get some coin. And uh, speaking of machinery here, I also like that there's a there are functioning functioning uh, tools here that serve absolutely no other purpose than just being here. And uh, maybe role playing that I'm sharpening my blade here. The books books here, um, as I mentioned mentioned earlier, I'll be. Uh, I'll, I won't be reading reading these aloud, not all of them, and uh, when I go on, but uh, in case you want to read them, uh, do pause the video and take a look. I'll uh, usually quickly read them myself here, and if there's some interest in it, I will I will read it aloud or at least mention talk about it a bit. In this book, we seem to get uh, some uh, some information about. Uh, Sokol of the scientist who works for Lord Regent, I assume, and these uh, these uh, inventions, Arc Pylon and Wall of Light security systems, which we'll uh, see later on, and also we learn that uh, we we'll kind of learned that already from Piero, but those whale oil tanks are highly explosive. That can be uh, used to our advantage later on, maybe. Piero's request is denied. No, I will not sign on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal, TV and ore? What's wrong with the metals in crystal? King Sparrow feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Okay, so we get uh, we get kind of a hint on items we can collect. Powdered crystal, TV and ore, King Sparrow feathers. We already seen some of those, but we get uh, we get coin for those. Copper wire, special herbs. I like these uh, these books, books and notes. They are kind of, uh, of course, optional to read, but they really give a feeling, feeling that uh, this world is uh, well well thought out and uh, in the design and the history of the world, how the how the world functions, how the how the whole industrialization is run by this uh, fuel fuel from the whales. A second solution. So uh, Piero here and then Sokolov are kind of the opposing sides of this uh, of this scientific uh, rivalry, with the Sokolov's elixir being one one cure for the plague and uh, Piero's remedy being the other. Uh, in game, uh, Sokolov's elixir restores health and Piero's remedy restores mana used for magic that we'll learn in the last part of the tutorial as soon as I go to sleep. Piero arg argues that uh, his remedy is uh, highly more effective than, than, uh, than Sokolov's elixir. Yeah, as mentioned, I uh, I might read through, uh, read through the books in s s uh, separate Read, read through the books aloud, all of them, uh, in a separate video, because I kind of want to do that. But uh, I don't want to interrupt the action too much, for both my own and uh, your sake. Piero's failed experiments.
information about the whales, how the oil is processed, how they are, how they are uh, butchered and sliced off when they still live. Quite, quite cruel. Instructions on how to use the whale oil refilling station. The academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities, subject and the necessary legal amnesty. <laughs> Piero has some, uh, has some radical ideas. Right, let's see, uh, let's see what else we're gonna find. Oh, copper wire. All, all this is optional, I, I think, uh, I think you can get through, can get through the game quite easily with the coin you kind of uh, stumble upon as you as you play on, but uh, it's uh, it's nice to nice to explore the place a bit, see the see the world here around uh, around the around the pub, and uh, see uh, see what kind of uh, what kind of stuff the developers put into the game. obvious way to the upper part of this building up there maybe maybe we'll see it when I uh, when I look through the pub a bit I'll uh, I'll go into the next part of the tutorial the magic part and then the first mission and uh, probably in the next video I'll try to try to cut this in a way that uh, this Free roaming exploration is on a separate video in case, uh, in case someone is totally not interested in seeing seeing this. But uh, I uh, I play the way I play, uh, whether it's a let's play or not. Apartment key needed. I wonder where I will get that. Is there anything here? There was those feathers, but uh, well, I guess no one would store their key to the <laughs> trash bin. We are the only authorized agents Do for Harold Blight's hand carved limbs. We accept coin only, no trade, no barter. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. flooded district so that's where the people are who are who have the plague hello you've met Piero Good. You'll want to get some rest now. You'll be needed soon. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll just uh, 
Find whatever coin you have left uh, left or lying around. Jump on it, but I guess I missed. Is the man dangerous? Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress, but something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out, if I understand it right. Ah. Hello. I'll, uh, I'll take that, thank you very much. Thank you for that donation, Lord Pendleton. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well... I'll begin again tomorrow. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in... Happier days. But you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. Hmm. Oh, no need to get that close. Master room key. Guess this is the Admiral's room. Log entry 1-4. It seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point, we need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End ball. Is this off? Switch. Switch, where the hell is the... <laughs> oh. Entry. Well, one, three to this one. Have a look, log, entry one. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to, back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Goldridge, and if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of one in five. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the confident confidence, Admiral. Kind of background background onto Navy and this uh, this land we are in. Gaffer's Dale. How the whale industry has changed the world. How it has, how it has, has changed the world of the common folk. I think I will read that later on. Because all these all these books, as I mentioned, are are here in the journal to be read read afterwards. Attention all citizens. Curfew extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be subject to it. Here we have the Autobot. Interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the 
boldest measures are the safest. Taking a look at those later on. Hello. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. Mm -hmm. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Are you flirting with me, Lydia? I think you are. Harpooner songs. Ah, yes. This is the song we already heard in the trailer. And now uh, we can hear some of the NPCs whistling the tune. Slice his throat with a rusty cleaver. Early in the morning. Let's see about that room of ours. On the upper floor, she said. Hmm. I guess uh, we can get to that other building from that uh, from that pathway. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Old Port District has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Right, so we have a way out from there as well. I have a feeling that there will be uh, there will be some uh, some fight in uh, in here as well. Based based on how the how the area is built. I'm sorry it's so dark. We can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic, though, isn't it? <laughs> you are flirting with me, Lydia. Definitely are. found in the prison. What else do we have? The Fook Feast. I think this uh, this book is particularly interesting because it describes how in this world they have a day or a time outside the normal calendar. Like uh, uh, after after the last last day of the year and before the first one of the next and uh, during that time outside the calendar, they uh, they are not tied to the normal normal uh, code uh, code of conduct, and uh, they uh, they might uh, take some spirits or potent herbs. They might uh, go and uh, go and do do things they normally wouldn't. And then when the when the folk feast ends, their wives return to their husbands, and uh, enemies put down their weapons. No complaint is given for those who have wronged others, deviated from ancient codes or disregarded oaths. The following day starts the new year, marked on the first day of the month of Earth, as it has always been. I think that's a that's a really interesting uh, interesting concept. Having having time outside calendar, and uh, then of course it makes makes it even more interesting that uh, they they use that time outside the calendar as a time time where anything goes call to the spheres volume 1 i don't think i've seen volume 2 
I've not necessarily found everything in this area, and I don't even, I don't even try to. So uh, I'll uh, I'll just get my rest, and uh, we will move to the, move to the magic tutorial, and on with the, on with the game, and then onwards to the first mission. So I'll see you on the next video.